Enemy cruiser sunk. Hello everyone. Fresh potato back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna showcase the Terror 7 French battleship, the John Bart. What? What? It's a John Bart. <laughs> I know the John Bart when I see one. It even says it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> but no, the Terror 7 French battleship, La Foudre. And La Foudre uh, was one of those ships. It was released uh, during a event, the a pirate event. Uh, the pirate event, right? And I went ahead and bought it because um, I'm a newer player. I don't have the John Bart. And the John Bart is one of those ships pretty interesting. Uh, one of those ships that you should have or ship like it. I, I know the Richie Lou is basically the same. But I, 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 wanted, I wanted this ship. Uh, so I went ahead and I bought it. And it's one of my most played ships. Um, I usually do well in it. Um, it taught me uh, how to angle better when I first bought it. It taught me, it, it helped me understand angling better. Uh, so it, it played a big role in my in my gameplay. Uh, and I, I like this ship. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it's as accurate as the John Bard. And I'm basing that on, on the videos I see on players, you know, playing the John Bard. It seemed it seems more accurate in the vid in the in the videos uh, than this ship. Uh, but this ship, when you when you play it well, if you can push in close enough, it it's it performs very well. It does have uh, longer secondary reach than the John Bart and uh, uh, Richelieu, so it does have that advantage. Uh, but anyway, here I. I start shooting my HE because this is what I consider a fast reloading battleship. Um, for me, it's fast reloading because it's it's under 22 seconds, so I do switch over uh, often. So we do we do shoot our HE at the Massachusetts. I'm trying to get a good fire going on him, which we do. Uh, we are at nine nine thousand and ticking well now 16,000 and we're backing up out of here because that's one of the, the good things about this ship is you can you can back out and still have all of your guns pointed at the enemy and it's one of those those uh strategies that people will say you know it's it's kind of a overpowered uh <laughs> overpowered strategy there because it's like it, you're hard to really hard to take out because you're not exposing any citadel any broadside you can stay nose in at all times and yes that's it does help preserve your life as it should because <laughs> you know you're not presenting any broadsides or any citadel you're not making making it easy for your for your enemy to take you out when you're bow in all the time right but here you can see now those long reach secondaries are at work and those these secondaries come in handy in this game against that destroyer that destroyer is is a menace and it won't leave us alone and you'll see in this <laughs> as the battle progress that 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 destroyer it gets lit up pretty good by our secondaries uh it's just that our secondaries aren't that accurate uh for some reason in this battle they're usually pretty accurate when it comes to shooting at destroyers uh, for the La Foudre. Uh, but anyway, we're trying to push in. Like I said, what you want to do in, in the La Foudre is push in. Push in and try to get them, try to get the enemy at a reasonable range where your your AP can start to really chew them up. But I'm not shooting uh, AP yet. I'm still shooting my HE. Trying to start some decent fires and get these guys burning. And a lot of them are well angled and I stop here and I'm using this island to cover me from that Massachusetts and that Massachusetts well I guess I would say that the uh, the H their HP was really low and they didn't want to risk coming from around that island so they're gonna sit on that other side of the island I assume using their repair 
to try to recover as much HP as they can before they engage me. That's what I'm assuming they were doing. So we just sit here and we're gonna engage this Colorado and keep isolate this Colorado from everyone else. It's me and the Colorado, mano y mano, one on one. And we're just gonna try to burn this guy down. Our, our secondaries are beginning to pop at him. He is moving within range, getting closer, pushing in. So we're just continue to light up the superstructure, keep that fire going as long as we can. And that's, a, that's one of the good things about the Lefoudre. If there's any destroyer that sneaks up behind you, those secondary starts to pop off and, and it, it helps alert you of what's going on if you find yourself, you know, maybe not looking at your minimap as you should be. But it's an, it's a, it, it comes in handy as a tool to help alert you of any danger behind you. So we get the kill there, burning that, that Colorado down. And here goes the Massachusetts. And now I say, okay, well, I'm out here. He's here. He's broadside. Time to load the AP, push in as close as I can and take advantage. Try to see if I can get something underneath those guns. We get a decent hit. Uh, and our total right now is 81,000. And ticking because of the fires. So here we're pushing in closer. This is where you get a little nervous because you don't want, you know, that that enemy ship to just come in and ram you, especially when you're already having a great game. But fortunately for us, superstructure <laughs> is still a good option. <laughs> Bringing our total to what's that? Two kills? Three kills? Can't see about this TV. <laughs> Ninety-one thousand damage. And now, like I said, as you can see there, there goes those secondaries and warning me, hey, there's someone behind you, which is that that uh, annoying destroyer. That, that destroyer is a pest, won't leave us alone. <laughs> but our, our secondaries is, is also what's keeping it at bay. It doesn't want to get too close to our secondaries. Uh, but here we, we spot the, uh, the aircraft cruiser, the, the Graf Zeppelin, and we're going to start to light him up as well since he's there and these planes are beginning to get a little annoying so we want to take out that aircraft carrier as soon as possible meanwhile yes our secondaries are still going off at that destroyer and we are giving that destroyer fires and we are now are at 102,000 damage and ticking here comes some torpedoes from that destroyer but no dice. <laughs> yeah, you love to see it, you know. But here comes the uh, the torpedo bombers, and here I have a decision to make: Do I dodge these tor torpedoes bombers and turn broadside to the enemy, or do I take the torpedoes? New players always take their tor torpedoes because you see people always trying to avoid avoid torpedo bombers from the aircraft carrier. They will turn broadside. They rather turn broadside to a battleship than to take torpedoes from an aircraft carrier. That doesn't make any sense. So never do that, new players. So here, we're now at 128,000 damage, and here goes uh, the Stalingrad. No, that's not the Stalingrad. Sorry, the, the Strasbourg. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't hold it against me, okay? <laughs> The Strasbourg and the Strasbourg. Well, I think is that does I believe that has only front turrets. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm confusing that with I think maybe the Dunkirk. I don't know. But we're gonna light him up. We're trying to light up his uh, his uh, turrets, trying to take out a turret. And but he's not shooting at, shooting at us. He's shooting at our cruiser friend. And this is what you want to see from the cruisers. The cruiser. This cruiser never left my side. This cruiser was a great backup, great backup. He was, he was the Robin to my Batman, right? As we knock out a turret, bringing our total to 159,000 damage and ticking. That's because our secondaries is lighting fires. It's doing its job. Guys, don't sleep on Le Foudre's secondaries. We take another shot there and do we get the kill? No, our friend got the kill which is okay, I wasn't mad at that. This cruiser was a great, great partner, great wingman. 
And if that was him that got that kill, he well deserves it. So here, I'm still hungry. I wanted to get this last kill on the Ganizer now, but they, <laughs> someone else gets it. But still, we had a good game in the La Foudre. Uh, like I said, I, I usually have good games in this boat because, you know, it's, it's not a lot of angling you have to do in it. You can stay bow in and take your shots there. And this is one of those, those ships that are, that's really annoying to go against because, again, it doesn't show you any broadside. It just sits bow in and fire away. But there you see... We finished top of the leaderboard in XP with 2585. We did get our two kills. And yeah, we're looking we this was this was a pretty good game for us. We got the 170,000 damage. And of course, we get our favorite medal in the history of the game, the high caliber. Thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.